glorious winter morning. We're not feeling glorious, though, are we? No, we're in Barnby Dunn. <laughs> been here for a while. We've been stuck here. Major flood. The River Dawn completely overflowed its banks, uh, flooded the village of Fish Lake, did a lot of damage downstream, and apparently completely flooded the heck out of a bunch of the locks. So, essentially, um, most of the South Yorkshire towards Sheffield has been closed to navigation until... Uh, two days ago? Yeah, a few days ago. They, they cleared up one of them a few days ago, and I was like, oh, good, that one's there. But there's still this one, Tinsley yeah. Lock, which is listed as, as closed, and it hadn't been updated in weeks and weeks and weeks. Mm. And the water had gone down like a while ago. Oh, like yeah, a long time a ago. And there but, hasn't been a lot of rain. But apparently there was a lot of debris that had come down. Cause, yeah. Because the, the uh, navigation goes, goes on and off the river, so... But the one larger closure finally closed out, and it was getting regular frequent updates. Like yeah. every few days, there was another update, another update. And this one just never got an update. So the day that uh, the major closure opened, and we were like, okay, finally, we can get as far as Doncaster, and we can get, you know, a little bit more towards Sheffield. Because the thing is, there's a winter closure coming up in January, and we need to get to Sheffield and back, and back <laughs> before Christmas. So we're on another push. And, um, but don't tell yourself because we have been stuck for like... We, yeah, we've been sitting still for quite a while. Basically, we got a few more days of cruising to get down to Sheffield. And in order to do that, we need to go a few miles past the swing bridge, through a few more locks. And that all required the opening of the Tinsley Lock. And so I called the Canal and River Trust and went, got put through to the local team. And then the local team put me on hold. And then they came off hold and I was out walking George and they were like, can you give me my fo your phone number? And I started giving them my phone number and that's when the phone died because I'd been on hold too long. <laughs> and so I went rushing back to the boat, charged my phone up, called back again. That led to them saying, we'll call you back as soon as we know something. And then an hour later, they're like, yeah, it opened a while ago and we just didn't. Yeah, it's not a case of them having two notices for the same stoppage. Yeah, and somebody <laughs> not uh, clearing one of them when the other one clears. So, <laughs> Just one notice for stoppage, please. <laughs> yeah. So on the good side, the navigation's clear all the way down. There is apparently one lock, uh, all the work lock or something like that, that we need to call ahead of. But it's at least a day and a half's travel away from here. We've had a, quite a slow start today. And uh, so... I don't think we're going to get as far as we want to today, no. uh, but that's okay. We'll just go as far as we, we can and we yeah. just have a relaxing cruise. Yeah, but for the purposes of making at least some time towards Doncaster. No, Sheffield. We'll get to, sorry, Sheffield. We'll get to Doncaster today. Yeah, we'll, we'll get past Doncaster today. Yeah. To at least make some time towards Sheffield today, we're going to um, go through this swing bridge, carry on to the next lock, and then after that lock, you and George will get on. Yeah. And then um, we'll, we'll go at least to the lock after that. Yeah. I think that might be where we end up, depending on the time. But yeah, we'll because see. that's a river lock. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. We don't want to get up to the river and it'd be like three o'clock and then it'd be getting dark. And... No, exactly. <gasps> so right. it's 10, 10 30 now? Yeah, it's about 11. It's about so yeah, time's just ticking away. Yeah. So we're on our way <laughs> that way, fast as fast can be. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Right. You ready, George? Good luck with that bridge. It's finally time to say goodbye to this mooring. We've enjoyed it here. It's a quiet village with only a small shop and some takeaways, but there's a regular bus to Doncaster and quiet is good. There's also a CRT service point, so we've been able to fill up with water, empty our toilet and get rid of our rubbish. Unfortunately, this road is really busy. Usually at lift bridges, I'd wait till there was a break in the traffic, but at this bridge, I've got no choice but to lower the barriers, even though I can see cars approaching in the distance. We've had such miserable weather for all of our recent cruises, so it's really nice to be out cruising on a bright, crisp winter's day for a change. The Sheffield and South Yorkshire navigation is made up of the Stainforth and Keedby Canal, the New Junction Canal, the Sheffield and Sinsley Canal and the Don navigation. At the moment we're cruising along the main line and the River Don is just to the west of us. Once we reach Doncaster, we'll be joining the river.
After two miles, we reach Long Sandal Lock. George supervises while I fill the lock chamber. In 1983, all the locks from here to Rotherham were replaced and the channel was deepened to 8 feet to accommodate much larger vessels. Just another 3 miles to Doncaster. Here we pass Strawberry Island Boat Club. The moorings have been created in an abandoned loop of the river and the island itself is covered in allotments. Presumably they're all growing strawberries. As we approach the town, we see the silhouette of Doncaster Minster up on the hill. There's a huge basin down that way. Doncaster College is there and a large car park, but the surrounding area must be ripe for some waterside development. There are some private moorings on these pontoons, as well as some visitor spaces for about four boats. I'm guessing this empty warehouse must have once been heaving with goods and activity. It looks rather sad now. When we arrive at the lock, we find the light is on red, meaning that the lock is closed. We can't keep up with all the ever-changing navigation updates. It only opened a few days ago after being closed for months. Michael drops George and I off, and sure enough, the water above the lock is in the red, so we can't proceed. Instead, we need to reverse back onto the visitor moorings we've just passed. We moor up and head into Doncaster for an explore. We get some delicious Jamaican food from the market and we meet a Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell if you want to receive notifications. Testing, testing, testing. Can you do a testing, testing, testing? Testing, testing, testicles, testopulies, test, test, testy testies. Talking of testies. <laughs> Talking of testies, George is showing the remnants. Horrible, horrible <laughs> remnants. Anyway, um, do pay attention to the fact that neither of us has been actually moving the boat in the better portion of... Well, for in, since the beginning of... November, so about six weeks, we've had very little movement. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we had one movement day. Well, no, we had three. Did we have three? Yeah, three. we had three in a row, and then we, we got, because we got stuck on the last one for three weeks, oh, yeah. and we've been stuck here for two and a half weeks. So, yeah. so effectively, we're rusty, so if I end up in the canal, don't worry, that's a, that's, that's a planned event. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't end up in the canal.